Thank you for joining us. This is Mo TV with me, Shaba Mohammed. This is where we get to bring you all the exclusive. We tell you what is happening. We update you on the happenings in the Ghana Premier League. So it is important that you subscribe to Mo TV on YouTube and get all the latest updates. We are bringing you updates on Ali Du Mohammed, um, Shao Khan owner of Mohammed, and then Kaza Kasim. Yeah, today the rhyme is good. Though. Ali Du Mohammed, Shao Khan owner of Mohammed. <laughs> Yeah, so that is that. So we'll be bringing you some updates around some other teams as well. You know, five days more to the end of the transfer window. So with five days, we need to speak more, talk more around the other teams and see what they are also doing for their coming season because most of them are also in the market. Most of them are doing their best to get some quality players for the coming season. So it is important that we give them that mileage, we give them that support and all that. So it is it is key. It is key. It is key. Let's start with the transfer update. Quick one shop. Let's start with the um one player say <laughs> Steven Ape Asari. Steven Ape Asari. You know I informed you he has undergone his medical and everything. He's now a hard to folk player. Steven Ape Asari has signed a two years contract. He is a winger, a former player of Tema Youth, a former player of Ligon Cities. So, um, hard to folk would unveil their winger, Steven Ape Asari, soon as their new um, winger in the coming season. So, that is something around Steven Ape Asari, who is now going to be hard to folk's new winger. Steven Ape Asari, hard to folk's new winger, joining them on a two years contract two years contract so his contract would expire in 2026 i guess 2026 i guess so that is the information coming out around him he's a very good player he's very pacey has the has the speed and um very very key from the flanks he has a lot in terms of quality at these days at legon cities we didn't see much of him but you can't blame him a lot because it was the entire team that did not show up much so you can't pick uh, uh pick one player and then criticize the player because he, the player um wasn't exceptional in the coming in that season but i built you Stephen api asari is a good player now let's move on to ali du muhammad now ali du muhammad is Ali Du Mohamed is a midfielder that can play as a left back and also operate as a right back. He is a versatile player. Ali Du plays for Legon Cities. He's joined Legon Cities from uh, mobile phone people. Yes, Medina mobile phone people. So he's a good passer of the ball, of course. You know that in terms of passing, accuracy, in terms of tackling, in terms of physique, strength. Um, Take on and the ability to to stand in a game ninety minutes without going through any fatigue and all that. It's Ali Du Mohammed. Now, how to focus? Are looking for a midfielder, and because Ali Du is versatile, the information coming in is that how to focus officially submitted their proposal to Legon Cities, and their proposal is an amount of money they want Legon Cities to accept. And allow Ali Du Muhammad to join them officially. Now, interestingly, you know, in terms of transfer, uh, a club must allow the the club who is releasing their player must then allow the player to also um, negotiate his personal terms. But as at now, there have not been any agreement between um, Hartofuk and Ali Du Muhammad on personal terms. Now we have five days to the closure of the transfer window, and I can tell you that it is becoming very dicey. It is becoming very dicey. It is becoming very dicey. You get very dicey. Now, the reason is that how to folk have not agreed any deal with Legon Cities yet. They've not been any deal with Legon Cities yet. Why? Because after sending their proposal to Legon Cities, Legon Cities responded that they should add something. And Legon Cities gave them what they want. So Legon Cities actually quoted an amount of money to Hatafu, citing that the amount of money they are paying for Ali Du Muhammad is not enough. So they should add more. And per what is coming out, 
how to folk are yet to also respond to Legon cities. So I'm sure you get it. You get the point. The scenario is that how to folk want Ali do before the transfer deadline day. So these are the deals that will go to the transfer deadline day. I bet you. But the player is quality. He has a skill. He has a quality. He has everything to play for how to folk. Now, how to folk have shown their interest. They've said their proposal. Now, when they send their proposal, the ones that have responded that no, this is not good. Add something to your bid or offer. So the ones that in a way quoted an amount of money to how to folk that go if you go and think about it and come out. But as it stands now, how to folk are yet to officially respond to the ones that again, but per report. They want the player. And coach Abu Bakar Watara has made it clear that he wants the player. The last time the player was at Pobiman to train to check up on everything. He didn't train with them. He didn't have any conversation. We just went there to watch how to folk train. So it tells you that the player is also happy and ready to play for Hato. For the report, the player has shown interest as well. The player would be happy to play for Hatu Folk. That is something around Ali Du Mohammed. Let's take note. Now let's move on to Shakan on Naf Mohammed. So today, and my name is Shaban Mohammed. So we are done with Ali Du Mohammed. We are going to Shakan on Naf Mohammed. <laughs> hey, the rhyme. Okay, so if that is that. That is that. that. That is just by the way. Sorry. That is just by the way. <laughs> All right, let's look at Shakan on Naf Mohammed and talk about Shakan quickly. Now, Shakan on Naf Mohammed. It's now cleared to play for any team because at a point in time, um, Accra Lions came out to say that the player is under contract. And the player also stated that it's not under contract. And Accra Lions stated that um, they had a clause which says that one year extension. However, the player would have to now stay for one more year so that they can cash out on the player. And the player says, no, I don't have any contract. I am a free agent. And so the battle went on, and then finally, uh, Shaka Onaf Mohammed has won. And at a point in time, was Shaka Onaf Mohammed and Andrew Suusu. Now, that, in that period, Kotoko and they were negotiating with Shao Kahn, but then because Shao Kahn was having an issue with Accra Lions, he made it clear that he, they should contact Accra Lions because he's an Accra Lions player. However, the player also cited that if it happens that he's free and not binded by any club, then he is going to change the negotiations. So Kumasa Sante Kotoko should rather hold on to the negotiations and wait for the final verdict. So that was the indication from the player that they should hold on and that and wait for the final verdict. Now the final verdict are out and the player is out and clean. It means that the player will now have to negotiate everything for himself. So the personal terms, the fee and everything Yes, and all that will go into the pocket of Shao Kahn or Naf Mohammed. Shao Kahn is a good player, a good passer of the ball, a good ball distributor. You know, sometimes you know when to put the ball, you know how to place the ball, he knows how to create that space, he knows when to position the ball, or when to position himself, or where to actually get the goal for his side. That is Shao Kahn or Naf. So, as at now, as I'm speaking to you now, there have not been any agreement between Shaqan and Kotoko. And he has not done any medical. So, take a note. No medical done. No medical done. At the same time, no agreement done. It was just yesterday. The player is now resting, thinking through, and looking at the possibilities and probabilities. Because even for him to sign for Kotoko, he needs to weigh the pros and cons before he makes a decision of playing for Kumasa Sante Kotoko. So let's take note of this information on Shao Kahn on Naf Mohammed. Ashukwe will sign for Hatu Folk, like I said yesterday, but then this by tomorrow, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, we should be able to get closer to the final situation of him. So don't worry, we'll talk about Ashukwe. But for now, he's signing for. Hearts of Oak. Okay. Emmanuel Jemfi, 
Uh, interesting. He has left the Gianna FC and he's going to Pando Heart of Life. Kindly take note. This is an exclusive update, too. This is an exclusive update, too. <laughs> if I Jeff is going to Pando Heart of Life, I didn't post that. I only want to share it here. But I'll see the number of people who follow the update very well across all my social media handles. On Sunday, we'll all be at a craft sports stadium. On Sunday, we'll all be at a craft sports stadium to support FC Summertex. And it's agenda 5,000 fans. So we can brush off Victoria United at a craft sports in the first prelims of the CAF Champions League. And so first prelims for Summertex. And it is a second leg of the prelims. So we will all be at the craft sports name. Summertex. Summertex. <laughs> I don't know how to sing this. Summertex. 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 So on Sunday, we'll all be at the Craft Sports Stadium to support FC Summertex as they face CAF Champions League um, team, uh, as they face a, pre a Champions League side, Victoria United. So on Sunday, we are all going to be at the Craft Sports Stadium to support FC Summertex as they face Victoria United of Cameroon in the second leg of the CAF Confederation Cup. This time around is a prelim. So of course, it is not in the group stage by prelims. This is how we start and this is how we build up. Let's support Summertex. Let's give them a the push on Sunday. Let's be at a cross post stadium to support FC Summertex against Victoria United. My name is Shaba Mohamed. Bring back the lab.